Here you are. Point really bad okay, right there. guys. I want you to stay here while I go get some help. I'm gonna try and find a telephone and call Al's Air Rescue. While you're at it, give your lawyer a call too. You're going to need him when we get out of this mess. Oh. <laughs> I think you should stick to drama, Faye. Comedy isn't you. Okay, guys. I won't be too long. Excuse me, Joe. What is this, yes, Sparky? Sparky? I was wondering if you could do me a favor. Of what all times? Sort of favor? What, save your could life? You find the shop. Could you see if they have any Commander Rocket comics? Comics? My copy of comics? Commander Rocket versus the Mob got water damaged in the crash. I'd really appreciate it if you could find me a new one. I'll work okay, on Sparky. it, Sparky. I'll have a look, but I can't guarantee anything. After all, we're in the Amazon jungle. Thanks, Joe. And it's not really relevant. It's very low down on my list of priorities for obvious reasons. All right, let's see what we got in the immediate vicinity here. Okay. It's beautiful here in the Amazon, I have to say. Uh, yes, make an entry. On the wrong side. That looks rickety as heck. Let's maybe not try to cross that bridge right now. So south, maybe not an option right now. I'm surprised Sparky hasn't offered up the yo-yo as, you know, a classic adventure game item. Necessity. What a pretty bird. Polly want a cracker? Uh-oh. Princess Azura is in trouble. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Fell, fell down hey, the well? you can talk. Help me, Trader Bob. You're my only hope. Uh -oh. <whistles> Ow. Oh, Squat. Who's Trader Bob? And who's Princess Azura? More importantly. Squat. I'm being held captive. You must save me. Uh-oh. Obi-Wan. What on earth are you talking about? Who's holding who captive? Squat. Uh-oh. Help me, Trader Bob. You're my only hope. Uh-oh. Squat. Uh oh Oh, come back. Parrot. Hey, come back here. That's just great. I've only just arrived in the jungle, and already I get a cryptic message. Maybe this Trader Bob Sounds like we're playing an adventure game on. Let's play with the brigands. Yeah, Trader Bob. Making us Trader Joe, if you think about it, once we do a deal with him. But, uh, a vine. This vine looks strong enough to hold my weight. Famous last words. Let's do a quick little save. I don't remember if you can, like, lose-lose in this game, but... That doesn't seem to work. All right, if I can't use the vine... Adventure Game Logic 101. If you can cut it, take it with you. Do it and take it with you, because you never know when you might need it. Buddy, this might be dangerous. This is where you want that yo-yo. So we can go Star Tropics on this gorilla. Hello. Phew, that sure is big. <laughs> Are you gonna let me pass? <laughs> boop boop. Oonga. Hey, relax, pal. I'll just stay over here. I don't think the gorilla is gonna let me through. Phew, that sure is big. <laughs> uh, uh, talk to. <laughs> oop, oop. Oonga. Oonga. Hey, relax, pal. I'll just stay over here. I don't think the gorilla is gonna let me through. Wait for it, though. Um, hi. I'm Joe King. Oop. <laughs> the greatest pilot in all the world? Sorry, pal, but I don't speak ape. Unga. <laughs> uh, What's that? Two words. Is it a movie? Unga. <laughs> uh, first word sounds like sing. First word sounds like sing. Chunga whoop eek reep. The first word is king, isn't it? Hunga, hunga, 
I've worked it out. It's King Kong. <laughs> Unga, Unga. I can't believe I just played charades with an ape. Unga, it was Jane Goodall when he did her. Uh, see you're a gorilla. Hey, uh, you're a gorilla. How's that working you? out for you? Uh huh. Unga, Unga, uh, gorilla. Rooney? Or Rooney gorilla? On second thoughts, oh. you look more like a chimp. It's fighting words. Danky Kong? I thought gorillas came from Africa. Say, buddy, I think you're right. Gorillas are only found in Africa. Muppet? You're a long way from Africa, pal. I sure am. Well, I'd better get out of here then. You know how, how freaky a phantom primate. This game has some fun. <laughs> you, have to, you have to suspend your disbelief a little bit. But you probably figured that out by now, right? All right, let's continue on to the north. Definitely some, uh, meanwhile, back at the crash site. Oh, Sparky, behave yourself. That's some Monkey Island That's vibes Creeper now and then. Here. He makes me so mad. You just met me. I feel better now. That was expensive perfume. So? I'm rich. I can do whatever I want. What are you gonna do now? I bet I'm by the end. I'm going for help. But Joe said to stay put. Well, he can go jump in the lake. Okay. Well, whatever. She's like two screens away from me. I'm sure we'll run into her in just a second. Puppy. He doesn't look too happy. Aw, do you talk to? Nice doggy. Aw, good boy. Or girl. What a cute doggy. I won't hurt you. All I want to do is walk past you. Are you hungry? We do have some more jerky if you need it. I'll think about it. Thanks for the talk. I feel like I should be able to boy. I'll, uh, interact with whatever this is here. Nothing's, they got him trained well. nothing's popping up. What is that? We got over here. Loda. I was wondering if you could help me. That depends. What do you want? Do you have a phone that I could use? Yeah. I'm sorry, but we don't have a telephone. Hmm. How about a ham radio? No, we don't have a ham radio. Yeah, Mr. Bell, but what is that? Would you have a courier pigeon? No, we don't have a courier pigeon. Right, what the now, hell is that lady? if you don't mind, I have work to do. Stampin'? Looks like she's got like a headset on, but that can't be. How about a pig radio? I'm getting sick of your jokes. What do you want? I gotta spend the whole game with him, lady. Look, I really need to use a telephone. For the last time, we don't have a telephone. I'd like to see your superior. I'm afraid my superior is busy. Maybe I can help you. I doubt it. You haven't been much use so far. Well, if that's your attitude, I'd rather not speak to you. Goodbye. Just my luck. It's out of order. Okay. Out of order. Why, uh, why the mannequins? These mannequins are wearing later hose. Looks like Anderson would be right at home in that. Can I, uh, maybe take the later hose? I don't think I'd have any use for that. I uh, wouldn't think you had a, thought you had a use for that dress you wore earlier, and yet, got you out of a jam. Hey, you! Hold it right there! You can't just wander where you want to! What are you doing here? Excuse me. Goes against me. everything I've want? ever been told is Joe King, everything I've ever known. I'm curious. What are you guys doing in the jungle? Uh, um, 
Ah, uh, we have a lederhosen factory. We make lederhosen for export to Europe. Who are you anyway? Why here? Are you the fumigator? <sighs> yes, ma'am. I'm the fumigator. For security reasons, I need some proof that you Let's are. Let's check who back you with this lady. Are. She's May a hawk. It's <laughs> in Toledo. Famous excuse. Gotten me out of many a jam. It's in Toledo. Well, that's no good. You better go get it. We'll come back. We'll come back. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to your, your superior. Walk to Pinnacle. Oh. Hold on. Can I grab a flower before I leave at least? Yeah, I can. Paper stack never gets smaller. That poor woman. All right, so we got some options now. I kind of like this feature of seeing where we... There's the crash site right there. Anything else to the left? There's Trader Bob. We've heard a lot about him. The camp, obviously. The jetty. The jungle. And... Oh, that's all the jungle. I see smoke. Salvation seems like somebody else might be in dire straits here. Let's see what we got going on here. It's a lovely sound effect right there. Got a beetle. That pretty bug really has that fish jumping. Hmm. I think it's just a rule that every adventure game needs to have a fish as an inventory item at some point. So, let's see if that holds water in this game. There's a comic coupon. Ah, what do you got there, Skip? Hi, my name's Joe King, pilot for hire. <laughs> Hello, Joe. I'm Skip, jungle explorer and comic collector. Is that your voice, though? You sound a lot like my number two, Sparky. What comic book were you reading? Commander Rocket vs. Yes. The Mob. Gonna have to kill it's you, really Skip. good. I've got every issue of the comic. I even have number one sealed in plastic and buried in my backyard. Wow. My friend loves reading Commander Rocket. Another Rocket fan right here in the jungle. What a small world. Can I have it? a message for him in Command the Rocket code. Oh. G S R H R H Z H V X I V G N V H H Z T V. Should I uh Should I have written that down? My friend has every issue of Rocket but one. Really? Which one is he missing? It's like he's joking when he says his name. Uh, the one Dr. Nazi captured his girlfriend. The one where his sidekick quits crime fighting. The one where he battles the Chicago mob. Or the Captain Hate Black Mills Mirror. Well, let's pick the only one that sounds feasible. The one where he battles the Chicago mob. That's the very comic that I've got here. Give it up, I've Skip. I've got a spare copy at home. If you want, you can have this one. Thanks. This will make Sparky's day. That's what I'm it's sure all about. it will. I understand how important this will be to your friend. All right. Uh. Those shorts you have <laughs> give me on those are too. really my swell. My friend has every them. pair of shorts in the world know. except yours. My mommy buys all my clothes for me. Oh, I don't know what else to say to you then. What sort of things have you discovered? Well, nothing about the female anatomy. If I had to take a guess, ancient wooden oh. chicken of Talmax Duncan on the skip. The mystical toothpick of the great. King Manaputu and oh, the hang, sacred fruit. crown of the Sun King. I thought the sacred crown of the Sun King was unearthed last century. Yeah, but the Museum of Mexico lost it in their collection. We helped them find it again, which was no I was easy gonna task. I know his voice too, but it's the same voice we heard earlier. So. Fifty cardboard boxes. I gotta go now. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't know how to talk to you. How you doing, bud? Skipping, Hi, bud. I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Hello, Joe. Hello, I'm Joe. Bud, and my friend here is Skip. Straight out of Joe's explorers. apartment. Explorers? Explorers? Really? 
Boy, it's hot here. Is it always this hot? You bet it is. It's so hot that you can chafe and end up with a nope. rash. Just like I have. I tell you, Don't a have to rash show me. cure in this jungle would be worth money. Gee, if I find one, I'll let you know. Thanks. Interesting. What's up at this away? Alright, now we're not ready for to hang out the sloth. Alright, let's head back. We have more options from the pinnacle. Let's go see Trader Bob. Trader Joe meets Trader Bob. Trader Bob makes Trader Joe. You know what I'm trying to say. Take your time, Joe. Take your time. Anyone have any homespun remedies for that rash? Alright, yeah, the crash site. Uh, yeah, let's check in with Trader Bob. Love the music Welcome here. To Trader Bob's 24 hour general store and authentic native village playground. It's nice. A pygmy? Hello, what are you looking at? Did you hear me, big guy? No. You still aren't gonna talk to me, are you? <laughs> Guess a crotch scratch speaks more loudly than words. I give up. <laughs> Big old smile. Dedicated to Pini, the great god of fertility. That checks out. Hair hunters. Talk to the chief. See if he knows where Bob is. Hi. Oh, he's probably I'm Joe in there. King. Can you speak English? Probably not. I beg your pardon? Right. I don't speak pygmy. Goodbye. Okay, some sort of translation dictionary. English to pygmy. There he is. Hey, is that your parrot? There you go. Oh, we meet again, my fine feathered friend. Nice. Howdy, son. My name's Trader Bob. I run this shop with my own for an Aussie. There. What can I do for you? Are you the same Trader Bob that this parrot told me about? Maybe. What else did that parrot tell you? Well, he Can't told repeat. me about some princess. Azura, I think her name yeah. was. He said that she was in trouble. Listen, buddy. We gotta talk. What's your name? My name's King. Joe King. Pilot for hire. Well, Joe, Princess Azura is a good friend of mine, and she's been kidnapped. I don't know who's she the one who was but I have my turned suspicion. into a beautiful dinosaur lady. I've been finding her. Are you interested? Uh, I got my own problems, but you know. Okay, in order to advance the plot, fill me in on the details. I like the, the Disney right. Mickey I ears up help. top there. I think that Floda, a Lederhosen company, kidnapped uh, I knew they she weren't on the level. Seen near their camp earlier today. It'd be great if you could check the place out. There, I already tried. What makes you think that Floda kidnapped her? A number of other people have gone missing near there. Besides, Floda has electric fences and vicious guard dogs. Isn't that a little odd for a clothing company? Yeah. What's the Lederhosen company? I tried to ask them that. that. Exactly. From <laughs> what I can tell, the Lederhosen is just a cover for their real activities. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure it's no good. It's the front and most believable Lederhosen factory in the Amazon. What exactly is Lederhosen? Yeah, asking the Lederhosen? real questions. Why it's clothing. You know, sort of like leather shorts, I think. Not the sort of thing you'd wear in this hot weather. Now that I have the details, I guess I'll be off. You'll find Floater on the other side I've of the pinnacle. Be there. careful, Joe. And if you need any more help, just ask. Someone else. Wedgwood. Hey there. 
Pieces of eight. Pieces of eight. <laughs> Polly want a cracker? Rah! The name's Wedgwood. Sorry. Rah! Bozo. Sorry, Wedgie. Yo ho ho in a bottle of rum. Rah! Rah! Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. Rah! 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 Who's a pretty boy then? Fuck! Not you, that's for sure. Hey. I'd like to talk, but I gotta fly. Ah, wise guy, eh? Bag some of those beautiful ladies and all of wherever that last place was, I'll have you know. Yes, please. It's a self power. Can't be an adventure game without a vacuum cleaner. Like a bug that's how we're gonna get into Flota. Flopa, Flopa, Flota? I guess it might be a vacuum cleaner. I want this. Or it could be a jet engine. I want this. Excuse me, how much is this thing here? That, that thing is a vacuum cleaner, son, and I'm afraid that costs more than you can afford. But it will advance the plot. All right, well, if you're really going to live up to your name, and surely you would trade, say, I love that we just have a baseball bat at the start of this game. I just want to look at the bat. This was my lucky bat when I played in the majors. Why I have it now? I like that we're figuring out more of the backstory, though, of Joe King right here. Let's offer him the beef jerky. Straight up for the vacuum you cleaner. You a little hungry. I've got some beef jerky. Would you like some? You bet I would. You look like I'll a man pay who for it. That's okay. You can have it for free. No, I insist. Anything off Here, the top shelf. have some money. <laughs> Gee, thanks. No, thank you. There you go. Not exactly a trade, I guess jerky for money is kind of a trade. Alright, I want this. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this thing. That thing. Yeah, come on over, how much is it worth? It's actually an experimental Five self powered coins. model. Self powered? Beef uh -huh. jerky might be the item of the game, but we've got two uses out of it something. so far. It'll be worth a fortune in the city. But it's useless here in the jungle. Then give well, it to me I'm for sure free. I can find a use for it. Here's some money. It's all yours, son. Here's some nondescript money. Is that going to take all the money out of nice my inventory? Nice business with you. Hey, no problem. Trader Bob. All right, we got the vacuum cleaner. We sure do. Making good progress, I have to say. You can always tell by your, your progress by the uh, joke and form. By the status of your inventory, that's what I always say. And it's coming along nice. Hey, Naomi. Always got time to stop Hi, off and talk I'm to the ladies. Pilot for hire. Can I help you? Where did you learn to speak English? The missionaries in the jungle can speak pygmy, so they taught me how to speak English. I'm the only one in my village that can speak it fluently. How come Bob over there didn't teach you? Bob's a nice guy and all, but his grasp of the English <laughs> language is a little slim. That's pretty good. He thinks grandma is the person who washes his grandfather's socks. <laughs> It's a pretty good joke, considering she doesn't have a great grasp on the language. Where can I find these missionaries? They have their mission in the jungle. If you're thinking of asking them to teach you pygmy, Damn it. forget it. They won't teach you for nothing. Thanks for your time. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I need a net. Essential for Amazon fishing. I'd hate to put my bare hands into piranha infested I'm telling you we're going to get that fish. Excuse me. I'd like to buy this. I'm sorry, but those are for special customers only. They are not for sale. Sorry. It's an obvious pun right there. A chance for one. They are net for sale. Meanwhile, in a secret bunker deep underground. Are you going to see this uh, crazy evil scientist Has again? Been any success in finding the crystal skull? It is an Indiana Jones game. Uh, not yet. Just like Doctor, a decade I, and a I, half before I that movie came out. I have my best men looking for it in the temple. That was like I 2009, that something like that. Soon. I don't it's remember. It's the key to gaining entry to the Valley of the Mists. And to obtaining more dinosaur samples. Exactly. 
second with my new dino I can begin building my army of dinosaur women. Dinosaur <laughs> contrived. Yes, then I that shall unnecessary. rule the world. <laughs> Brazil banner over there. Yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. I'm just a handsome Nazi working for an evil scientist. I don't have a lot of my own thoughts. Just here for the cash. All right. Uh, well, we are the vacuum cleaner. We could certainly head back to. We. I think we need a bit more for our our disguise before we can infiltrate Flota. See. Are there more paths around here? This always back to the pinnacle here. Yeah. All right. Got the north path. We got. It's hard to tell if these are even different. Oh, I don't think we went to the right this time. Last time. Man, you must think this... I just fell off the turnip wagon there, uh, gorilla. Must be joking. If you think I don't recognize you, vicious dinosaur. Come on, Al. Hey, I know you, don't I? Hey. I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. What on earth are you supposed to be? What on earth are you supposed to be? I'm a vicious dinosaur. I'd stay back if I were you. I can be very dangerous. It sounds like a Muppet. It's like Frank Oz doing a voice. There's no such thing as a talking dinosaur. How would you know? I bet you've never ever seen one before. You got me there, talking dinosaur. It's a costume. I can see the stitches. Those aren't stitches. <laughs> They're worry lines. Worry lines. <laughs> Fall apart at the seams. I can very tell you're a gorilla, talking gorilla in a dinosaur costume. If you're a dinosaur, then why aren't you extinct? Because I eat a balanced diet and exercise regularly. Damn it. I know who it's you gotta are. Stare. You're the gorilla I saw earlier. No, I'm not. I'm a vicious dinosaur. Now leave me alone or I'll be forced to eat you. You can't eat me. <laughs> Gorillas are vegetarians. Okay, you've got me. We did meet earlier. Now will you trees. leave me alone? I've got to guard this log. You put <laughs> I like that he drops part of the facade. He's like that 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 uh that head was all itchy, but the bottom half. Mm, fantastic for the tropics. You don't get out of it that easy. I've got some questions that need answers. Do you have to keep bothering me? What do you want to know? Uh, off the top of my head? Why are you wearing a pink dinosaur costume? Because my blue chicken costume is still at the dry cleaners. Thank Gossasaurus. How did you do that disappearing trick before? That's my little secret. Let me just say that it's easy to do if you don't really exist. You're blowing my mind, dinosaur gorilla. Could you teach me how to disappear? There you go. Oh, how I wish I could. But unfortunately, <laughs> I can't teach you to disappear. Waka I can waka. only suggest you go hide in the jungle. What? Is there a reason why you're blocking my way? Uh-huh. It's revenge for the last time when you said I didn't exist <laughs> and made me disappear. Nice talking to you, but I gotta go. Bye. I don't know. Last time I talked his ear off, he Hello disappeared. Hello again. What is it this time? So logic says... How did you do that disappearing trick before? That's my little secret. Let me just say that it's easy to do if you don't really exist. <laughs> Would you disappear again if I said you don't exist? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. But of course, you'd have to say that I don't exist. And you wouldn't really want to do that. Would you? It's like some weird... Ang Hulk angle right here. Sorry, pal, but you don't exist. 
Thanks a lot, bud. I have the strangest feeling of deja vu. Depta got a sense of humor. But, uh, more importantly, we can head to the east now through the hollow log. And continue, you know, it kind of reminds me. Huh? I hate heights. Yeah, seriously. Kind of reminds me of Kyrandia a little bit. This Kyrandia, this particular stretch. Uh, make a tree. Joking six. We got around here. Let's head up. Up oh, here we go. I'm gonna look at the orchids swarming with wasps. We need that orchid. It's a beautiful orchid, but it's swarming with some nasty looking wasps. So it might not be your first instinct, but we're gonna use the vacuum co I mean it might be right here, but talking about useful. That's taking care of them. Multi-purpose items. So now we got a vacuum cleaner full of bees. That might pay dividends later when we're uh, posing as a an exterminator. But let's grab this orchid now. Not the sound I was expecting, but uh, there you go. All right, so we're gonna head back the way we came. This is a fancy orchid. And this is actually something that uh, our friend Trader Bob might be interested in uh, talking shop over and striking a deal. And I think we should be able to get that sweet, sweet net from this exchange, so. There you go. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.